Hey everyone, I am back for a new construction update. I just got off of work, and so now it's time for me to head out to Universal and see what's going on with Halloween Horror Nights. But um, still at the side of my work, just got off, so why don't we go to Universal, shall we? We've arrived. Thankfully, the weather has gotten much nicer since last week. It was very muggy, very dreadful outside, but now it's it's warm, but it's nice. It's bearable. Perfect day to go to Universal. Ba -da -da! Look at that. I take that as a sign that it will not be very crowded today. Only one, three gates are open to get in. Sounds like this is going to be a good day today. This new building is coming along very nicely. It's supposed to be a gift shop, I assume. So, yeah, it looks great. They've topped it off. I'll come back to this a little later. You know what? Let's go check out what's going on right now. I'll, I guess I'll see the show. So yeah, the footage I got, uh, the footage I just got, uh, the construction was Titans of Terror. Uh, we were speculating for a long time, like what it would be like. Oh, is it Alien? Is it the Thing? Is it, is it the Conjuring? Is it this is the end 2.0? Like we had no idea what it was. So it was good to finally see, uh, hear some confirmation from Horror Nights, and I'm looking forward to this maze. This should be pretty cool. Well, while I'm here, I might as well check out Diet Horror Nights. Look at all the Asian shit fans trying to buy their tickets. All children must walk at all times and not be carried. No food or drink allowed. This is and last but not least, do not touch, hit, or antagonize the walkers. We are trying. So here's the facade for the Parisian Square. It's coming along very nicely. It looks interesting. Uh, what does it look like to you? To me, it kind of possibly looks like a movie theater a little bit, or it could be a really tall house. So what could it be? You decide. You know what would be awesome is if they incorporate some uh, May space into um, this area. Seriously, like, when is this restaurant ever open? They should incorporate it for a maze or something. Like, put it to good use. So here's Mill's Diner, which is the same thing as Krusty Burger, but shh, don't tell anyone. Hmm, that's interesting. Well, hello, this is new. They have a new uh, kettle corn machine. No, sorry, it's, it's caramel corn. Looks pretty good. I would have made a joke about the new popcorn stand, but that would have been a little corny. Eh, I should probably see this today because they're going to get rid of it next week. Remember, kids, don't bring your bags to Universal. Otherwise, you'll have to go through this. Me? I can just walk right in. Remember when I said earlier that I thought it wouldn't be very crowded? Well, eh, I was kind of wrong. <laughs> but still, it's not quite as crazy as it was in July. So. I'll take it. Yo, dude, down the front. Look at that, the escalators are open. This is pretty cool. The space is open again, yay! All right, here's a good look at the Shining House. There's the facade. There's the long black tent. Down there's the hedge. Not much has changed. There's the big empty lot over there, again. Little has changed, save for some parked cars over there. You know, I have to admit, it is pretty trippy being on the side of the escalator. Usually if you were on the side before this is built, you would fall to your death, but now you can actually ride down this side of the escalator. It's really nice to see this area open because this should help a lot with crowd flow for peak season and for uh, Horror Nights. I know I've been taking a little bit longer than usual to film the mazes, but don't worry. I'm going to try to crank this thing out as fast as possible. <laughs> They just get rid of a single rider? I'm not okay with this. Just kidding, I lied. They relocated single rider, so yeah. Yeah, they relocated single rider here, I guess because they didn't want to really advertise it to where more people than usual should be going in there. Which I'm okay with that. Oh, that is so nice. I'm a huge fan of those coolers. Can I make it? Can I make it? We'll see. Oh, Toby. Come with us now to a time. Man. When the 
As you can tell, I just did Jurassic Park. I'm completely soaked. But I'm going to come back down a little bit later because the lines are just too long right now. So do the studio tour. Hey, it's crusty. <laughs> so I found out these tram seats are also whoopee cushions. Listen. This is very tiny. Hello. Yes? Everybody will check inside the room at once. And make sure that we are not stirred for any reason. Seen this so many, so many times. I would love to see that truck driving in the water. That'd be pretty cool. Oh boy, here comes the good base footage. The largest sound stage all the universal line. Thanks, Carson. I see a red curtain in there. Of active filming on our lot. I mentioned it a little bit earlier when we were waiting. Oh, just close the camera to hop out the microphone for a few minutes until we're past the active filming. And you may see it click like this. There's the exit right there. Feel free and to there's talk the side. yourselves in a quiet zone, but don't make a ruckus. But I just have to hop hmm. off the microphone. This is all. Look, there's some men in black. Here they are. Okay, not Chicago, much going on over Boston, here. Baltimore. There's American Horror Story. Looks interesting. I was just, you know, I was just walking there. So it's not exactly New York, but a lot of times when you see New York in the movies, it was shot right here on the Universal Metro set. TV shows Ash like the Mickey Dead. Project or How I Met Your Mother, Garfield and Emma Stone also filmed out There's here. There's an unannounced maze. But tons of other movies Looks and TV shows have filmed on these sets in general. Another look at Ash TV Ash shows like Dead. American Ninja Warrior, The X Files. Well, you can all see the fate of the Furious Eight in the series. Now the psycho house is what we refer to. Let's see how the time the terror train is coming along. Which means it's just the front and the sides of the building. Not much activity so here. So scenes we filmed inside the house, but filmed probably inside of the sound stage. But if we were able to use up in that second story window, I think mother might be feeling friendly. She probably wants to say hi to all her slates, so. Man, this side is just playing crazy. Oh, 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 look at that, look at that. There's sign of terror train construction. Oh, wait, what's... Oh, you again. What's up, Agent Nova? This might be more serious than I thought. What? what? Oh, really? Well, tell me, Roman, who do you work for? Family. Oh, you're done! Oh, that was crazy. I know. Hey, Universal, can you please make this a real waffle stand? Thank you. You know, normally I, I never bother with this, but because this is going away very, very soon, might as well give it my uh, final farewell. <laughs> Only one more week until it's all over. I'm sorry, but this is not a very good show. You know, the theming in here is very much on point. It's just too bad that this attraction is on the end of its rope. Yet again, you could argue that the show's popularity was a little rocky. While this ride is normally a snooze fest, I'm gonna check this out one more time because it's going away. This ride is anything but play. What grade do I give Shrek 40? Well... Alright, I'm sorry. I'll stop with my terrible, terrible puns. I'm really sorry my jokes have been all over the place. Rest in peace, Shrek 40. The only attraction Universal would be based on a meme. All right, gonna try the lower lot just one more time now that the wait times are shorter and get a couple of rides in that I wasn't able to go on earlier. Time to see this, time to see that. Oh my gosh, no, 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 no. Well, I just got all my rides in for the lower lot. I've gotten all my construction footage for Halloween Horror Night, so I'm set for the night. However, I do want to address this rumor that it's been going off and on about the mummy leaving. 
And the reason why I might leave is because of the possibility that Nintendo Land might take over the space. Now, if Universal does decide to get rid of this attraction, even if it is Nintendo, I really hope that Universal will replace this with a better coaster experience, whether or not it's with Nintendo. If they decide to not replace it with a new coaster, and this does get taken over by Nintendo Land, and there is no coaster involved, I think that is a very poor move. Look, the Mummy's not a top 10 ride or indoor coaster for that matter, but they need to replace it with a better coaster if they're going to get rid of it. If they get rid of this, that would mean that Flight of the Hippogriff will be the park's only coaster. And being that that is a kitty coaster, although albeit a really good kitty coaster, I don't think it's a good move. So Universal, if you're going to even think about getting rid of the Mummy, I hope that you decide to replace it with a better indoor roller coaster, whether or not it's with Nintendo. So we'll see what the future holds. But if they do decide to get rid of this ride for a better roller coaster, I would not be mad. I just hope they replace it with a roller coaster. That's good. You also have to consider that if you take out a roller coaster for a new attraction, the general public is going to be expecting a new roller coaster. So I hope they realize that. But look at that beautiful lighting. It reminds me of going back to Horror Nights. We have just a little more than one month to go before opening night for HHN, and I am really stoked. In just a very short amount of time, we will soon see this area filled with smoke and maybe some characters, and of course, lots of idiotic drunk people. And lots of excited fans as well. Time to take the escalator to go back up to the parking structure and go home. Huh, what are they building here? Anybody have any clues to what this is? While I'm admiring this beautiful view, I'm just gonna take the time now to say that it is time for me to depart and tend to my own business. Thank you for watching the vlog. Be sure to stay tuned for more construction updates for Knots and Universal. And for more vlogs coming in the near future. Thank you for watching and you know what? I might sneak in one, maybe two more rides before I head out. But the vlog's over and my battery's running low. So thanks for watching, have a good day. See you at Horror Nights. Mm -hmm.